Hey guys. I apologize for the shadow. It's just usually not this dark outside during this time of day, but there's a storm here and there is so no sun. So I just finished my walk. It's like raining cats and dogs and a few birds out there. So <laughs> again, let me apologize to you guys for the, the snippets from Wednesday. No idea what happened. No, I have an idea. I filmed it upside down like a durr, like a dummy. So I had my moment and I never checked what I did because if I had checked even once, I would have been able to fix it. I didn't do anything until I got home and I looked at it and I'm like, the hell. So let me go on with what happened. You kind of saw what happened. I met my friend Vanessa in Gramercy Park. She's a fellow actress, and we've done a movie together. The very first time we met, we did the movie New Year's Eve. I don't know if you'd see us in any of the scenes. I really, really doubt it, but we did New Year's Eve together, and we met, and we've been friends ever since. So, And now that we are both union actors, there are programs offered for our union, and we've made it a pact to go as if we decide we want to go to a program we try to make it so that we go together like she's from upstate New York I'm from Jersey and then we just meet halfway in the city and just go and spend the day have lunch and then go to our program and then go back home so that was another day that we did it and we met in Bryant Park which is a little off of 42nd Street so the idea was we'd meet in Bryant Park. It was a beautiful day, luckily. Usually it's hot as hell, but as you could see, the place was packed. I tried not to show a lot of people because not a lot of people want to be photographed, but it was packed, and normally on a day like that, it would be hot as ever, and it was particularly cool, so no wonder a lot of people were out there eating lunch and having a wonderful time, and it's beautiful in Bryant Park. I showed you pictures of what I could show. So, she was going to take also headshots of me because I needed a headshot and a resume. I don't have a headshot. I haven't had one ever. I just, I can't afford it. Honestly, I can't even afford a cheap one. It's, so I asked if she could help and she said, don't worry, I take pictures, I'll take your picture. And all situated. So she helped me out. So again, if you're watching this, Vanessa, thank you, thank you, thank you. Those are the best pictures I've ever seen. It'll be a while before I replace them because I love them so much. Anyway, so we took some pictures and I had fun. And then we went to our program, which was to meet a casting director. A casting director in the sense he's casting for commercials. And, you know industrials, meaning more like programs that companies will present to other employees as opposed to you would see on TV in a commercial to explain stuff. So he explained what he was looking for and he explained what he wanted and he encouraged improv, but not to the point where you forget the product or you forget what you're talking about. Also, the one thing I learned is that you, I know you're an actor and you like improv. Listen. Listen to what the director is telling you. If you are trying to impress the director by being funny and cute and flirty, they'll recognize that too and they'll say it is desperate, much, you know, and they want to hire you. And I don't blame them. I've seen, I was, I saw a few people do that and it was not so much uncomfortable, but annoying because if that's what you have to rely on I'll let it go at that but improv also like I always say no theater skills know what it takes to perform on the theater the better actors that I love and respect got their start in theater 
because they learned how to talk to an audience. They learned how to express themselves in an audience because the theater is like the most natural form of acting that there is. They tell a story, they show emotion, and it's it was for people earlier on, it was for people who couldn't read, who couldn't write. That was their only form of education. You know, they looked at expressions, you know, they knew horror, they knew laughter, they knew love. But I'm showing you that that's just how they learned back in the day how to express an emotion that people would understand. Now we have to learn how to do it without being so cheesy. So that's what happened in New York City. We talked. He gave us little, little scenes to read over and memorize. Usually it was us by ourselves expressing something and then he introduced other characters or other scenarios and wanted us to do the same lines and everything but in a different scenario. He wanted to see how we could, you know, redo it. He wanted to see if our brains were working not only for the one time but for whatever because scenes will change and improv is the most honest form of acting. That you can. You could tell a person's talent by how well they do improv. Or they're willing to do improv. So. And then afterwards, we sat. And I met some wonderful actresses. Some lovely, lovely ladies. Oh my god. Hi guys, if you're watching this. I won't mention your names because I don't have your permission. But they were the two most lovely ladies in the world and they had some of the best scenes so I was honored to meet more actors and they're both union and whenever I go into the city again we're definitely calling you guys <laughs> so I'm out there I pimped that <laughs> and then we all just said our goodbyes and went on our way I of course took the wrong train home just in case you guys missed that I didn't take the wrong train. It's just that this particular train that I always take just decided not to stop where I normally get off. So he said, just get off at this stop and wait for the other train to come. It'll be five minutes later. And I called my dad and he said, you know what? Whatever station you're going to be at, I'll meet you there and I'll pick you up and take you home. So eh, total win-win. So that was my Wednesday. And like I said, I saw the billboard. I'm pointing like the billboard's right behind me. There was a billboard from GNC, and it showed firemen and, and said like something like the greatest heroes or something. And I was honored because these weren't models. These were actual firemen. And I'm not saying because they were ugly or anything, but they were real people. And that was that was the best. And they celebrated them. So that was great. That and I, the Fashion Walk of Fame. I was in the fashion district and they were showing postings of famous fashion designers and sketches of their work on the sidewalk in a little plaque. So I presented that too. I'm sorry I didn't take a picture of that big, big button that is always seen. There's a big, big button and there's a statue of a man, a tailor making outfits and I'm sorry I didn't take pictures of them but it just I just I just didn't so that was my day I had a great day and again thank you guys for coming with me and trust me I'm going back I always do and I gave him my head I gave in my headshot and you know I met not only the one guy but there was not so much an assistant but she was a casting assistant to another station for another agency and she everything went well let's put it that way and I loved working with her and I loved working with I'll call him Tony because that's his name but I won't go into anything else but guys again I just want to let you know again sorry for the blogs the snippets the snippets <laughs> and again have a great weekend and I knew this was a long one but I just wanted to go and tell you everything, and I'm sorry for going back and forth left and right, but I wanted you to know what happened. I had a great day, great time, and 
happy that you guys got to come with me and see it from upside down or the side. It was great. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Have a great weekend and be careful of the storm. Rain. <laughs>